In this video, I will be talking about the fossil record of evolution. Why am I talking about it? Because the fossil record is the most important thing about the theory of evolution. Without the fossil record, the whole thing falls apart. You cannot have the theory of evolution without the fossil record. The fossil record, what is it? Well, the supposed fossil record of evolution for humans or any living creature is simply a group of fossils that show the line of descent from a single celled organism or the common ancestor. The fossil record for humans starts at the common ancestor along the way it goes to fish and keeps going all the way to us, today's humans. There are fossil records for almost every creature. Did you know that there is a fossil record that shows dinosaurs evolved into chickens? Okay, now that we know what it is, let's talk about how fossils are added to our fossil record. You might have heard that DNA is used to determine if a fossil belongs in a fossil record. Well, people would like for you to believe that, but it's just not true. It's not true because we can't use DNA to show a descent between fossils. Why can't we use DNA? Because DNA breaks down over time. Okay. Well, DNA isn't used to build a fossil record, so how are fossils added to a fossil record? Well, simply put, if a fossil is found, someone sits down and examines that fossil, then compares it to different fossils and tries to find similarities between them. This person probably asks someone else what they think. The decision is made and the fossil is put into the fossil record. I would imagine this process goes something like this. Okay, so now we know what a fossil record is and how it is put together. Let's talk about the evolutionist supporter's argument to gain some insight and reasoning. When you talk to an evolutionist supporter about the fossil record, they will likely compare the fossil record of human evolution to a photo album of your family. In a photo album of your family, you would be able to look at the photos and you might notice characteristic similarities between family members. If you were to flip through this photo album, you might notice that great 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 Gam Gam had your nose or your eyes or your chin. Okay, sounds good. What is the problem with this comparison? Well, before I go into why, I want to say you have to accept this for evolution to work. Supporters of the theory of evolution can throw all the terms and ideas and $5 words around about genetics and mutation and Darwinianism, but don't let them confuse you. The fossil record is what they are selling. The fossils are the proof. They have to be real for the whole idea not to fall apart. So let's go back to the comparison of the fossil record and looking at different pictures in a photo album of your family members, okay? Here's the problem. Two people in your family might have the same looking chin or nose, and yes, you might have the same eyes as Gam Gam, but no one in your family used to be a fish. The fossil record for humans starts at the common ancestor along the way it goes to fish and keeps going all the way to us, today's humans. Can you breathe underwater? That's all I have for you today. 